what up what up what up kryptonian gaming back with another video in today's video i'm bringing you guys lords of the fallen which is an awesome game this game is definitely me i love challenging games i love learning mechanics of games and you know the bosses are challenging and i love it man interesting game so today's video man i'm gonna show you guys how to get the sky rest key and if you guys are having difficulty or some problem getting it because I, I i'm sure having a lot of difficulty <laughs> but it's all, it's all good. I'm going to show you in this guide real quick. And I'm also going to show you where to find an interesting pendant called the Princess Sting. And um, basically just pick up everything on the way. But the Princess Sting is, uh, you, you can't miss it. So I'm going to show you anyway. But if you're new to the channel, hit the like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you want to, you know, every time I drop a video, you want to get notified. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comment section below. Let's get into it. So what you want to do from the vestige of E3, you want to make a left and keep going. You keep going, you go down the stairs, then you're going to reach the ladder and you go up. Now you can fight all these enemies that's coming up on this path, but I didn't. You could pass them, but if you want the souls, you can to upgrade your gear and stuff like that. So you just keep going. Now when you get to this part, you want to kill all these enemies because while you're waiting for the elevator at the end of the hall, they'll, they'll become aggravated. So you want to kill them all, take the elevator all the way to the top. You got to hit the switch on the side, take the elevator all, all the way to the top. When you get up there, there's no enemies and then just follow my remote. You want to stay in umbu for this when you get to this part there's a drop you have to drop down to a ledge and then soul across to bring the bridge to you then you make that first left you're gonna have to soul flay again the key will drop from that soul flay and that's the sky this key but be careful because there's two real tough enemies that come up off the ground and they attack you they're real fast i'm not gonna spoil it but yeah and make sure you explore this area because this stigmas there's a bunch of weapons including the crimson sword and the thorn crimson sword which uh has bleed damage i think 60 bleed damage pretty cool so after you retrieve the sky west key you want to head back to the double doors before the drop. Open those double doors. You're going to see a hallway on the left. There's an umbu eye with loot hidden inside. Now you need to soul flay three of them statues to open that door. The first statue is when you go up the ladder. It's right next to the umbu eye. The second one is under the steps towards the front. And you can't miss it. If you look up, you're going to see it just soul flay. For the third one, just follow the video and so for it. And then the door will open up and you climb up the ladder again and go get your loot. The princess thing is also in this room. If you keep moving forward on the right, you're gonna see a gate. You go through, you can see some steps. You go down, there's another soul flaying statue. You soul flay it, the princess thing will drop right from the statue. If you follow the video, you'll find everything you need to. I'm Kryptonian Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
hit the like leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the game so far i'll see you guys on the next one